Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to do a little review slash what's in my bag. If you follow me and keep up with me, you would know that my latest bag is this little precious beauty here. This is the Chanel Filigree Backpack in the classic beige and black colorway. So after owning this little beauty for a while now and using her for a little bit, um, I just wanted to hop on here and share with you guys my thoughts and opinions and also, of course, what fits. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. Okay, so we're just going to, you know, go ahead and jump in. I really, really, really adore this backpack. So if you know me, um, you know that I really, really like the flop style closure backpack. So, um... I have the other Chanel backpack, it's called In the Soul, where it's a drawstring type of backpack. And you know, going into it, I knew that somewhere down along the line, I'm gonna invest in a flap style closure backpack. That's just been my thing, it's my aesthetic. Um, and I mean, honestly, I don't regret getting that backpack because it's still really, really good. The lambskin is like super buttery smooth. But, you know, preference wise, if I have to really, really choose between the two, this would be my favorite backpack. So moving away from the style of the backpack, another reason why I adore this backpack so much is because of the straps. So the length of the straps are much more suitable for my height. I'm exactly five foot three and I have it in the, what you call it, the lowest or highest setting. Um, but it will be the first hole right here and it just fits me perfectly on my back. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's just not, you know how like some backpacks, they're just hanging either way too low, like near your bum pretty much, or it's like a little bit too high and it just looks like, you know, like weird. But no, on the first setting, again, I don't know if it's lowest or highest setting, but um, it's the first hole that you see here and it just fits me perfectly. And another pro is this strap right here. So this really comes in handy. So when you're getting off the car and you need to grab your bag from the passenger seat or the back seat, whatever, you just want to quickly grab your stuff and leave. You just, you know, grab this and go and then you can just put it on your back while you're walking to the store or wherever. Or when you're at home, um, you know, you need to get out the door, just grab this and go. You don't have to fiddle too much around me like, oh, I need to carry it like this or worry about putting it into the back and then going to the car and then, you know, taking the straps off and then putting it in your car, that kind of thing. You just grab this, put it in your seat and off you go. So that's what I really, really like about the features. So the backpack is a magnetic style closure. Um, the magnet, as you can see, is really strong. So if you have a fear of someone getting to your backpack, um, you know, out and about, you're really actually going to feel it because, you know, you'll hear the magnet, if you guys can hear it from the camera here, but, and of course you're going to feel it, um, because on your back, um, when someone just pulls this up, you can just totally feel it. Um, so I don't really have an issue or worry that someone's fiddling through my back because again, I can just feel it. <laughs> But so um, again, you just open it like this and then you do have a little drawstring situation here, which in my opinion, it doesn't really do too much as far as widening or closing the space. Um, I try to fiddle around with it, try to pull it up, pull it out, but it really didn't do anything for me. But for aesthetic wise, I do pull it up um, and then close the bag. So only the two little thingies pop right there. But it's up to you, really. So let me just give you guys a quick overview on what fits in this backpack. And as you can see right there, I do have a bag organizer um, just so the bag can keep its shape and also to keep um, the interior clean. And if you guys are curious, I did purchase the organizer from Zumoni. I think this is my third or so. I think third, yeah, my third purchase from Zumoni. And um, the organizer um, is really good quality and also fits perfectly within the bag. Um, I do notice though, ever since my first ever purchase from them, shipping does take a little bit. Um, I think they might have a lot of orders in and whatnot, so um, it does take a little bit while. Um, 
if you guys were interested. But again, it's it fits perfectly and I really have no complaints on the quality. Alrighty, so inside, um, without the organizer, it's literally just a black hole with, of course, a little zipper compartment here. And it also comes with this a key leash thingy so you can, um, you know, hang your keys on and it'll be a quick grab and go because again this is basically a black hole without the organizer and in this backpack I can fit all my necessities and also more if I wanted to um, as you guys can see I do have more space um, I can potentially fit more things but I really don't have any other things that I would need to carry and again this is just perfect and it's not too heavy where it's like oh my gosh I'm carrying a bag of bricks on my back um, nothing like that I mean it is you know there is a bit of weight to it because there are stuff but it's not very like oh my gosh this thing is way too heavy for me I can't do this um, nothing like that at all but um, let me just share with you guys what fits so you guys have an idea um, what you can carry day to day so in the back pocket right here, um, I do keep the authenticity card. Um, I like to keep the authenticity cards um, with my bags at all times. Um, otherwise, I just feel like I'm going to lose it. So it's in there, and that's basically all I put in that um, zipper compartment. I should probably zip this up, actually, now that we're talking about it. <laughs> So if you can see here, within the organizer, there are two little pockets, um, one on each side. So in the first little compartment here, I do have this little My Melody pill case. Um, and then inside is just all the pills. Uh, let me just see if I can open this real quick. Um, and this is what it looks like. So I just have some Advil, um, some Excedrin, um, some Zofran for nausea. Um, an anxiety pill just in case um, something happens along the way and I just feel like my anxiety is kicking in. Um, and then I have a little caramide just for stomach and that's basically it. Um, I always carry pills with me. Um, I get headaches really, really easy actually. So um, it's important that I carry it with me at all times. Next thing on here is my Chanel card holder. This is in the black caviar leather with the gold hardware. I bought this many years ago, but I just never used it for whatever reason. Um, but I was like, you know what? I bought this, this needs to see the sun pretty much. So um, this has been my go-to. Um, and whenever I use these wallets or card holders, I use it for months to go. Um, I'm not the type of person to keep changing my SOGs or wallets, what have you. I do change my bags around, but SOGs, I just keep it as is. So in the first pocket right here, I do have my driver's license. And then inside the bigger compartment here, I have two of my major credit cards, um, insurance cards, and <laughs> my little Costco membership. And then I do have a $20 bill stuck in there just in case... Um, I need cash for whatever reason and also um, a $5 bill you just never know some places they don't accept credit cards and they only do cash so it's important to carry that with you and then more recently I started to put some dollar bills in the back pocket um, there is a 99 ranch near me and then within that 99 ranch they have like a little claw machine there and I always always get sucked in and I never win honestly so I don't even know why I try because I feel like I've already lost like ten dollars ish at this point but just every time I go in I just can't help myself and I just you know attempt to win and again always come out empty-handed and then I get mad but anyways I carry these dollar bills just for the claw machine if I do happen to go into 99 ranch and then apparently I have an alcohol swab in the bag, which I don't know why. I think it just got stuck in there with one of the dollar bills, but that's that. The next thing is the Gucci Marmont key holder. Um, so here I have my key fob dangling, and then inside I have my house key, mailbox key, and office key. Um, I'm thinking of getting another key holder, the one where um, I can fit cards in the back because sometimes when I'm just out and about I just really need um, my key and my license and my credit card um, so I'm thinking of just you know getting one where I can fit 
uh, my cards in the back or inside, what have you. But I just don't know what to go for at this point, so I'm still thinking. I think this is like a wasted opportunity because if you can see like the canvas thing right here, um, they can just make a pocket right here and they just fit in your cards. But who am I? Who am so I? Moving right along, um, I have another card case situation. This is the YSL um, key or card holder. Um, inside, I just put my gift cards in here or reward cards. Um, so I so I have like um, a boba stamp card. I have a Panera gift card, I have a Burberry gift card, CVS, P of Chang's stuff like that. Um, they're all in here, just because I don't want to overstuff the other one and the other one just really fits in the more necessities so you know driver's license credit card insurance card that kind of thing and this one's just you know for shopping purposes and i do have another five dollar bill in here just in case and yeah that's basically what fits in this little guy um the next thing in my backpack is this little chanel drawstring bag um i think i got this um, with the purchase, um, they put the free samples inside this bag, which I thought was really, really nice. Um, so inside, I have my Chanel hand cream, and then a perfume. This is this is the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia, one of my favorite, favorite scents. I always like to carry a perfume with me, just because you never know when you might need a little pick-me-up because outside you get stuck to food, you go out to eat, and it's just like you can be smelling like Korean barbecue and you know when you go past people you don't want to leave bad scent so just like to carry a little perfume. The next thing is this little Tuxedo Sam pouch and inside of this pouch I have my eyelash spoolie. I don't know if you guys can tell from the camera but I did get eyelash extensions so I like to carry this spoolie with me just to brush out the lashes to keep it in tip-top shape and make it you know and fluffy and all that good stuff um, and then I also like to carry a lip color that day um, just so I can reapply this is the buxom lip gloss in the shade Sophia um, I love these buxom lip glosses they're just very shiny and also give you a really minty feeling just really tingly I love that minty feeling um, and then I also have the Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer. This is in the scent called Cactus Blossom. Ever since COVID happened, I always, always have hand sanitizer with me, either in my bag or in the car. Just keep yourself clean. I mean, like, when people act like COVID is no longer a thing, it unfortunately still is. And of course, there's many other bacteria, viruses out there, so you always always want to keep yourself safe. And then the last thing in here is this little Hello Kitty pouch and inside I just have some mints. I used to carry gum with me but every single time I never finished a pack of gum and then months later I'll open my bag and the gum is like disgusting in there. It melted. It is just a mess. So I am sticking with mints. So that was everything inside my bag. Um, I don't feel like I'm a heavy packer, I just pack my necessities and even with all the little knickknacks in there, you can still fit in more stuff if you have more stuff that you need to carry. Um, and then one thing I do want to disclose to you guys, a water bottle does fit in here. I usually do have it either in here or just me hand carrying it. Um, I always have water with me. I just get dehydrated quick. <laughs> so um, that fits in there. And it's just, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Ooh, and before I forget, there's actually a little zipper compartment back here. Um, I don't keep anything in here, but um, if you have like important documents or something, you can stuff it in the back and, you know, it'll be more safe than putting in, in the front. But again, for me personally, I don't have any issues or concerns with wearing a backpack just because I can just feel <laughs> that someone's trying to get into my bag. Um, I'm trying to see what other things I haven't mentioned yet about this bag but I should say um the colorway so because it's beige and black it literally goes with anything you can wear black beige white red pink anything and it will still match um that's the beauty of getting a neutral color and, and with this backpack while you think a backpack is more of a casual vibe 
Because of this style and this colorway, I feel like this can actually be dressy. So I can actually imagine myself wearing like a summer dress or something and carrying this and this just, just elevates your look. Um, even like today, I'm just wearing like a sweatshirt and leggings and having this backpack on, I just feel like it makes my outfit a little bit more elevated. So um, again, you would think normally a backpack is more for casual days, but this, even if you carry it like this, it can look a little bit dressy. But again, just my opinion, you guys can have your own, but I just feel like this, while it's a backpack, it, it, it can be dressy. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy me sharing my thoughts, opinions, and what fits in my bag with this latest beauty, my Chanel filigree backpack. If you enjoyed this video and if you want more content like this, definitely leave a comment down below and give me a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out future content. I will see you guys next time. Bye!